Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your reading, Taurus. Let's have a look to see the messages that you need to know at this present moment in time. Starting off strong. Oh, two cards starting off very strong. But the thing is, you have the energies of the Seven of Wands. We're going to talk about it because the Seven of Wands could be that energy where you feel like you are outnumbered, where you feel that people are wanting to best your bubble. Taurus, the divine is saying to you, don't worry, don't pay attention. If anything, put yourself in a spiritual protective bubble because by doing so, you are going to be seeing that you are going to be alert, well-informed, decisive in making the decisions that you need to make that lead you to victory. So the divine is saying that there is something that is currently going on. You need to play the game logically. You need to invoke the energies of your ancestors, the energies of your guardian angels and the divine, because by doing so, Taurus, you are going to be seeing that you are going to be divinely led. There is going to be powerful information that comes in that allows you to play this game and win and get all the way to the energies of authority. The divine is saying that for some of you, it could be that you're trying to be authoritative, you're trying to set your boundaries, you're trying to be that person. And you could be seeing that maybe your children, your family, maybe this is co-workers, and they are not liking the boundaries that you are setting. They are wanting to infiltrate those boundaries. They're wanting to bring you down. They are wanting to challenge you. They are just not having it. The divine is saying, stand your ground. Because in doing so, you are going to be the one who is left with all the pieces on the chess game. You are the last man standing. So it is really imperative for you to enforce your boundaries, to stand in your power, to stand in your authenticity, all that good stuff. Because it is leading to something that is good. It is leading to you being upgraded. And this is really, really important for you. Taurus, let's get more cards and see how the story is developing. How are you feeling this morning? Comment in the comment section below with an emoji of how you're currently feeling at this present moment in time. And Taurus, you the people who are watching, participate, take part. Because in doing so, you become part of the reading. You become part of the energies that are here. Don't be that person who's always wanting to take, 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 and never wanting to subscribe, never wanting to comment, never wanting to like. What is that all about? Here, it is all about uplifting each other and making sure that there is an energy exchange that is always happening. Because if you're taking, trust me, something else is taken from you. So when you're giving, more is given to you. So, Taurus, like, comment, subscribe. And let us know in the comment section how you're feeling at this present moment in time. Let's have a look, a look to see what else the divine is wanting you to know. At the bottom of the deck, this is what you're currently not aware of but need to know. Look at that. What did we talk about? We spoke about an energy that is connected to wanting to make some changes in your life. An energy where you just feel like you are being outnumbered you are being undermined there is just a, like that rah 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 like protesting type of um, energy that is here the divine is saying set your boundaries and be firm in your boundaries because you have a good thing going the people who are opposing the boundaries that you're putting in place, the things that you're wanting to change, it is because they are gaining from you. It is because they are harnessing, they are taking from you something. And the moment you say no, suddenly the vibe changes. Suddenly you are the bad guy. But when we are truly honest, it is that the other people don't want you to change because they keep on wanting to take your energy, harness your energy. They want to use you. Let's let's call it what it is. So you could be seeing that when you set your boundaries, people call you selfish. But the divine is saying, don't worry about that because sometimes you have to be selfish because in keep on showing up for people, lifting the heavy load for them, doing the most for them, people start expecting it to be the norm. They don't see that they are 
putting a lot of pressure on you. They don't see that they are taking advantage of you. And even if they do, there's a sense of not caring because, well, if you're carrying the heavy load for them, why are they going to care? They're going to keep on putting more and more and more onto you until that moment where the straw is the thing that breaks the camel's back. Why am I saying that? This almost looks like a camel's back that is there. And the divine is saying, don't get to a point of exhaustion. Don't get to a point where the straw is back, breaking your back because you have been doing so much for so long. The Ten of Wands is the moment where you need to truly look at your life, different areas of your life and see where you are doing more than necessary and see where people are taking advantage of you. You're seeing that the energies of the Emperor is looking at the Ten of Wands. And so there's a moment of you saying enough is enough. I am doing too much. Guys, I am out of here and people are going to have to just work it for themselves. And like I said, there will be some protests. There will be some, you know, people not happy. This could be even at work. You know, when the um, the pandemic happened, a lot of people perhaps lost their job in your organization. And you were told you had to pull up your sleeves, roll up your sleeves and help the company. But now things have shifted. Things have moved on and your company is doing well. And still, they are not wanting to hire more people. They are still expecting you to carry the heavy load. They're still expecting you to be doing three people's jobs and not being rewarded, not being compensated for the energy that you're putting in. So the divine is saying it is that moment where you are being asked to look at all the different situations, what is not working, what is working, and then what is not working, putting that boundary, speaking your truth and understanding that you have to you have to really speak your truth and stand your ground as i'm looking at this card for those of you who are doing the magic course with me this rune this protective rune that is here haven't we been speaking about this rune every single day since the uh, magic course began so it is funny to me that that magic rune is there and we were talking about uh setting protective energies around us with that energy of the rune. So for you guys who are taking that course, I just thought, wow, there's confirmation that is here that that rune is truly powerful and helps create that shield, that energetic shield, that spiritual protection. What we're going to do, Taurus, we are going to get some oracle cards, okay? As we get our oracle cards, you know that by now, I always take this moment to let you know of the services that I'm offering. We have our 1212 portal that is going to be happening on the new moon, which is going to be the last new moon for this year. So this is an invitation that I am extending to you to come and be part of the new moon ceremony where we are planting our seeds of intention of what it is that we're wanting to see grow in the next year, what we are leaving behind. And we're taking that moment to sit down, to write our petitions about what it is that we want so that we have clarity on the journey and the moves that we have to make for the new year. So the new moon ceremony is going to be happening on the 12th of December. Go in the description box below, reserve your space. There's a few spaces left now. Reserve your space and then do remember to write your petition and send your petition to me well in time. Because as you're sending your petition, this allows me to truly understand what it is that you're praying for. And then on the 12th, we come together, me, my guides, my ancestors, and we do the work that we need to do. The ceremonies are indeed beautiful. They are powerful. So like I said, this is the last new moon that we have this year. And this is an invitation that I wanted to extend out to you. Let's have a look to see our oracle cards and what they have to offer. I want to say as well, personal readings are available on my website. I forgot to say that. Look at what is happening. Our oracle cards are emphasizing exactly what I already told you. We can literally just close off this reading and say we are done because we have already spoken about these energies. So quickly, I'm going to tie everything together and then I'm going to let you go. Seven of Wands, the divine is saying that it is important for you to understand that you are currently are not seeing the whole picture. There is just something that you're currently not aware of. Okay, and it is important for you to close your eyes, to go within, to say your prayers, 
to connect with your guides and your ancestors and to ask you to reveal to you what you can currently see. Because like I said, for some of you, you are wanting changes to happen, but you are not seeing that people are going to come in and they're going to be angry. They're going to be protesting. They are going to be shouting. It's not fair. And this could make you feel like maybe you are making the wrong decision. So the divine is saying that right now, the changes that you are wanting to make, just understand that you're not seeing the whole picture, but it is okay because your guides and your ancestors will be guiding you. So there's nothing for you to worry about. The divine wants you to know that it is important for you to start trusting your hunches. If you feel that people are plotting against you, if you feel that the vibe is off, the vibe is off for a reason. It is important for you to trust your intuition, trust your hunch and take action. This is what hunches are all about. They're about feeling, they're about understanding, they're about hearing the message from beyond and then taking action because the action that we are taking is leading to a journey that we already spoke about. And the journey that is here is all about you truly understanding why the energies of the Ten of Wands is here. And I told you the Ten of Wands was telling you that you are putting up with a lot. You are carrying and shouldering other people's burdens and it is time for you to stop and to put down the burdens that are not yours and to go in a new direction even though people might protest and call you selfish and have a lot to say you are not caring about that because deep down in your heart and in your soul you know why it is important to go on this journey because you can no longer stay in a situation that is barren emotionally spiritually on any type of level the divine is saying that there's a shift that has to happen and the shift that is here is being confirmed by our compass that is here. We can see that here you are seeing that you need to go somewhere. You need to make some changes. So for some of you physically, you are moving. For some of you, you are making changes at work, at home, with some people and relationships. For some of you, you are putting those boundaries up, whichever way this energy is playing out for you. The divine is saying, go within like we already spoke about and then understand what the messages that are coming up for you. And then it is important for you to follow your inner compass because your inner compass is going to be guiding you. And where is it guiding you? It is guiding you to the energies that we already spoke about where finally you arrive in your power, where finally you arrive in your abundance, where finally you arrive to have the world as your oyster. Because this is what the energies of the emperor is all about. The emperor goes through a lot of challenges and through the challenges he goes through, he learns a lot. And all the learning that he does allows him to play the game to his advantage. So the divine is saying any situations that you're experiencing at the moment, it is important to view them as a game. Because when you detach your emotions, because the emperor is very detached emotionally, when you detach your emotions, you then are then able to do the right thing for you. When you allow your emotions to get colored by what people are saying, to get colored by how people are judging your decisions, then you stay in situations where you remain taken advantage of you, used as a doormat. So the divine is saying it is important for you to understand that the actions that you need to take that are aligned to your goals, to your dreams, to the manifestations, to the things that you're praying for are connected to you, connecting with the energies of the emperor. So maybe after this reading, research the emperor some more and really understand the, what he brings to the table because the divine is saying that it needs action. You need to take action. You need to be proactive to make your dreams come true. As we saw with the energies of the Ten of Wands, you were proactive. You were going somewhere. You were doing something. And in that, this is how your dreams are going to be coming true. So, Taurus, this is the energies that I have. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. Hit that notification and again comment with an emoji how you are feeling now if you're feeling empowered if you're feeling like you know what it is that you need to do go and comment that chess piece emoji in the comment section below 
and it shows me who had the discipline to watch the reading all the way to the end. Again, personal readings, new moon ceremony that is happening, as well as everything that I offer is linked on my in the description box below and can be found on my website. On that note, I'm going to see you in my next reading and it is a goodbye for me.